Hey there, Skywatchers, Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth here. In the mornings this week, you'll be able to find four of the five naked eye planets. And actually, if you look out Monday morning, you can use the moon to help you find those. These are going to be in the east to the southeast before sunrise. You'll have Saturn, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. Venus will be shining brightest, but yeah, you'll be able to see those in the east to southeastern sky. So again, on Monday morning, use the moon to help you find that. Now, this will be closer to the other planets as we head through the week before it finally kind of moves away from all those. But uh, yeah, you can use that to help you find some of the planets. And actually, Actually, one of our planets too, Mercury, will reach something known as the greatest eastern elongation. Basically, this is when it will be kind of farthest out of the sun's glare, so it'll be easier to observe this week. And actually, you want to look in the west northwest at sunset, you can find Mercury, and not far off will be a famous asterism known as the Pleiades. So the seven sisters will be hanging out with Mercury as we head on through the week. Also, we are looking at a new moon this week that gets here Saturday at 4:28 in the afternoon. So we are going to be looking at darker skies as we head through the week, which basically means it'll be that much easier to do some stargazing. So when we get a little clearing, get out there and enjoy the night sky. And we're also going to see well, we won't be able to see it, but we'll have a partial solar eclipse. It will be visible from South America, parts of that, and in Antarctica uh, with this new moon. So, uh, yeah, folks down that way will get a partial solar eclipse. But here, we'll just see a darker sky for better stargazing. I'm Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth. Happy hunting.